We're on the second video of GMAT vocabularies. Now a unknown or a variable is the things that we don't know yet and these are normally represented by alphabets such as A, B, X, and Y. An equation is a mathematical statement as we know it and a solution is the answer for that and a quadratic formula is this formula right here. Now before we go into that formula, First, we're going to talk about equation now. In, on GMAT math, we're only dealing with linear equations. So let's keep that in mind. And the quadratic formula, let's say we have an equation as x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Then a becomes 1 and b is negative 1 and c equals negative 6. So if you plug in these numbers into that equation or that formula, starting with the denominator, we have 2a, so 2 times positive 1, because a equals 1, and negative b, so minus minus 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 1 squared, minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times negative 6. Then we get 1 plus or minus the square root of, let's see, 25 over 2. Then this is 1 plus or minus 5 over 2. So this will give us two answers. One is 1 minus 5 over 2 and the other is 1 plus 5 over 2. So we get negative 2 and 3. Now a square is a number multiplied twice, a cubic or cubed is a number multiplied three times, and in a polynomial expression, these are the terms. And the last bit right here we call it the constant. So minus 5 in this case is the constant. And the largest number of the exponent is the degree. And these numbers are called the coefficients. So let's say we have an equation, say y equals x cubed minus 2x plus 5. Then the degree this expression is 3. This is the degree. So remember these vocabularies.